have you ever found yourself wondering that what this standard method of measurement is where it is used and what is its relevant whether it is still applicable or it is superseded then in this video all your such doubts will be clear hello everyone welcome back to the channel my name is naresh punia i'm a project quantity surveyor at acom in riyadh saudi arabia and in today's video we are going to understand that how various mode of measurements work where they're applicable and whether they're relevant at this time or not so without further ado let's get into the video so the first standard that we are going to talk about is the standard method of measurement which was published in 1922 by RICS which is Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors so whenever we'll be discussing any mode of measurement in this video we'll talk about four things first what is the name of the standard when it was published who published it and what is the use of that standard so let's talk about that for standard method of measurement so standard method of measurement which was published in 1922 was published by RICS and it was mainly for building projects so that standard method of measurement which was relevant up to 2012 and even in some projects they still use standard method of measurement is considered to be one of the earliest method of measurement that is still relevant to some projects though it is being replaced by another method of measurement that we'll talk about in this video later on but until recently this method of measurement was widely used and its first edition was out in 1922 so after the standard method of measurement one was published in 1922 uh, there has been six more revisions how that revision used to work that after the publishing of a standard they used to invite people to give commentary on what they like about the standard what they not like about the standard and what they want to include in the standard and that's how they used to update it by reviewing the comments and by reviewing the things that they want to incorporate in the standard so we had standard method of measurement 1 uh, 2 3 and these revisions keeps on happening even at the time of second world war it got halted for some time but once things get back into track these revision continued so then we had standard method of measurement 4 5 6 and 7 the standard method of measurement 7 was published in 1988 but it was relevant until 2012 when it was replaced by a new rule of measurement 2 when the first edition of new rule of measurement 2 came in then it was replaced even if you go to RICS iserv and download the standard you will come to know that this is being replaced by rrm it's clearly mentioned in the document so now let's talk about another standard this standard was mainly for india it is used widely in the government projects of cpwd and even the private player use is1200 in the industry so the first edition of is1200 was published in 1958 by bis which is bureau of indian standard and it is used for both the civil engineering works as well as the building works so is1200 has 28 parts and some part were even revised in 2024 so you have to check before using that if the is1200 of that part is latest or not now let's talk about another method of measurement another method of measurement is sism you must be aware of it by sism 4 or sism 3 but the first edition of sism was introduced in 1976 by ICE which is institute of civil engineers and it is used mainly for the civil engineering work then the sism 2 and sism 3 and sism 4 followed so in sism 3 they mentioned that this code can be used for simple building works which are incidental to the civil engineering work so some small building can be measured using sism 3 and this was mainly revised to align with the ICE conditions of contract but in sism 4 made it contract neutral so this standard can be used for fedec for nec and for icc let's talk about another mode of measurement now when standard method of measurement started then all the countries thought that you know we don't want to adopt the standard method of measurement as it is we'll make some changes and we'll make it our country specific so countries like malaysia singapore hong kong qatar made their own version of standard method of measurements like the institute of surveyors malaysia made their own standard method of measurement for malaysia singapore institute of surveyors and valuers made their own standard method of measurement 
for Singapore and Hong Kong Development Bureau made their own version of standard method of measurement for Hong Kong. And this happened in Australia, Canada, US and many countries like Qatar as well. Now in 1992, they started another standard which is called POMI. POMI is Principle of Measurement International. This standard was made to cater to the international market. So any project which is out of UK was supposed to have POMI and it is used widely in Middle East for the building projects. So in Middle East, you will see SMM7 as well and you will see POMI as well. And now even NRM also coming into the picture. So you'll see all of this. Now SMM7 is not, no longer used, but still people use SMM7. And POMI they still use even after the introduction of NRM. When you go and you try to download POMI, you'll see that RICS have archived that document. Even there's an article by Faithful and Gold, which says that POMI will be superseded in some time, but you'll see POMI used in various projects. So the problem with introducing new method of measurement is you can introduce new method of measurement but to make the entire industry adopt the latest version is very difficult. Let's say there is a mechanical vendor and he is using POMI to make his BOQ. You cannot stop him. But if there is a contractual requirement to use a standard method of measurement then you should be aware of that. Now let's talk about the NRM. NRM is part of the new rule of measurement suite and uh, NRM2 is what we are talking about. This is used for the production of BOQ and it replaced the SMM7. So right now, if you see from RIC's point of view, their number one method of measurement is NRM. So you have to use NRM. There are many clients which are following it. There are many clients which specify that we want all the costs in NRM format. Now, Apart from these method of measurement, there are two special method of measurements, which are not absolute in themselves, but they are incorporated in NRM, but you should be aware of that. These two are called ICMS and IPMS. ICMS is International Cost Management Standard, and this standard basically tells you that how do you regroup the cost, how are you going to classify the cost, and how are you going to present the cost, so that the cost of one project in one country and the cost of another project in another country can be matched apple to apple. This is used industry-wide. Initially, they published the first edition in 2017 and then the third edition is the latest edition in 2021. This is published by ICMS Coalition. Now, another standard is IPMS. IPMS is International Property Measurement Standard. So this standard basically tells you that how do you measure the in gross internal floor area, how do you measure the gross external floor area and they have mentioned specific terms to it. ICMS 1, ICMS 2, ICMS 3, ICMS 4 based on various factors. They published their first version in 2014 that was for official building and the latest version is 2023 where they published for all building basically what they did in 2014 they started office building then they went for a residential building commercial building and so on and so forth but then they decide they want to have one cumulative standard which they call IPMS all standard which they published in 2023 so more or less these are the standard that you will see if you're working in India Middle East if you're working in India Middle East and the UK I hope you like the video if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel I'll see you in the next video